Okay, so it is actually probably like two seconds after I ended the last video that was on my channel. Before you even watch this video or think about watching it or try to understand what I'm doing, watch this video right up here. It is definitely worth your time. So click on that, please, or you will be completely confused the entire video. But um, now that you have watched that, yes, I am beginning to rebuild this whole area of the ponds. I explained what was happening to this like the last six months and everything in that last video. So if you haven't already, make sure you uh, click that card right up there. It's very important. But uh, yeah, since I did all the explaining last video, I don't have to do any now. So let's just get right into it. I'm going to begin with, uh, I guess, trying to get all these leaves out. And uh, if there are still a little bit of fish there, who knows, there might be a turtle, a snake, a freaking polar bear living in this. There's like 12 feet deep of leaves. I'm going to begin taking this entire tarp out until this is just a bare hole. And then I can put this new tarp in and uh, who knows, maybe even begin filling it with water today, but I don't think so. So uh, yeah, begin this long, boring time lapse. Okay, pause the time for one second. I was just digging through the leaves right over there, and you know how I said I never know what I could find in here. There could be literally anything living in this uh, little bit of water. And uh, I just found this little American bullfrog just hanging out in the leaves. All right, bud. Here you go. I think you'll uh, enjoy your life a bit more in there. Okay. Back to the montage. Okay, so I'm not too sure if y'all can tell, but uh, I've actually been working on this for probably like, feels like two days, but it's probably more like an hour, an hour, 15 minutes, and uh, actually gotten a lot of progress. You used to not even be able to tell that there was this big puddle here, all the way up to like right there, and like that white line right there was leaves, and you couldn't even see a single part of the tarp, and I got, I mean, that giant pile and all that out, which is a ton, probably like 45 scoops of uh, that of leaves packed in there real tightly and I mean just rocks and I've had to drain a little bit more water but I'm pretty sure that I've uh, got it light enough to the point where I can um, like unattach the tarp from the ground and sort of pull the entire tarp up but uh, I'm not too sure if I can do that but I'm going to go ahead and try to see it might be way too heavy but I mean I don't know so I guess I'm going to uh, I think I'm gonna pull that side over here and uh, just lay the whole thing out over there if I end up getting it out so I'll just uh, I guess we'll set y'all like right here first of all I gotta move this big old rock that used to be sitting right along the edge of the tarp oh and another thing I've gotten all the big rocks like this out from that we're just covering the edges of the tarp there's still a lot of gravel right here and it kind of sucks for me to just be wasting this because all this gravel in total probably cost me like 200 bucks but uh you gotta do what you gotta do to uh make it look good again so i'll just throw this over here at least i think i can okay that should be good enough i guess i'll start over here One eternity later. Oh! Oh! 
look at that guy. We might just have to do another little bullfrog catch and cook. I don't know why he's acting dead. He just hopped out of underneath the tarp. I'll just throw him back in the mini pond. There you go, bud. I mean, so far it's working. Now, here's the biggest issue. Dragging this up onto land because there's probably like 300 pounds of gravel that I had to push in here in order to like get this out from under it and I don't think I'm gonna be able to just lift that up. And with all the water and leaves that's in here. I'm definitely not gonna be able to move that up by myself. Okay, well, uh, obviously, quite a bit of time has actually went by. Um, last y'all saw the tarp was like right here and I couldn't quite pull it up because it was full of, uh, you know, all that stuff, just gravel, leaves, water, muck, disgusting crap. And, uh, well, since I couldn't pull it up, I was about to actually winch it up with the Polaris, but um, I actually decided just to cut it with, uh, that knife right there just cut the tarp and let all the crap dump into sort of that little area right there and then well for the last like hour 15 minutes I've been shoveling all that stuff out and packing it under there because uh, right before I was going to winch it out I decided that I mean it would make even more sense just to dump that out and use all that stuff there since I was going to uh, just use a bunch of dirt from wherever from in here to actually build that little dam right there since before I was using those two by fours right there that was the most retarded idea like I don't even know what I was thinking but uh if y'all don't know whenever you build a pond since this is an uneven surface I built this on a hill uh this side is going to be higher than this side I mean you can tell that right there that's probably from there to there almost like three and a half feet and like there to there it's like two and a half feet so you're gonna be like no well, that side's obviously gonna be higher it's three and a half and two and a half but that gradual decline um whenever you actually have water in this that is going to be up to the very tippy top and this is still going to be like way down there but uh since those two by fours was obviously a dumb idea i just packed that on there I'm pretty much re repeating the exact words that I just said, but, uh, yeah, that problem is now solved, at least I hope, and, uh, hopefully now it will be even and the water will be flat, not one side way lower and one side overflowing, and, uh, yeah, that is about it. Now, since I dug a lot of that out, I didn't... Okay, sorry, my camera just shut off there for a second. I don't even know why, but it won't turn back on. So uh, now I'm just filming off my phone. All I was going to say is that now, since I uh, packed so much dirt onto there, this side is pretty much just as deep as that side. That side used to be deeper, but uh, I pretty much uh, brought like six inches down over here. So now the pond is overall bigger. And uh, yeah, pretty much... Um, a few more days of long, hard work like today, and I think I will uh, have this new tarp in and filled with water, and eventually I'll have all these rocks and gravel surrounding it, plants, fish. It's going to be so awesome, and i got to destroy that thing right there. I don't even know what's going on over there, but uh, yeah, I'm going to end this video right here. I know this video and a lot of videos to come of sort of like... I don't know what you'd call it, like destructing the spawn, if that's even a word, just taking all of it apart, um, are going to be boring and long and pretty much me talking and me just giving you updates. But that is what is going to have to get done in order for uh, me to make the fun, exciting videos uh, like me putting plants in there, catching fish, catching turtles, putting minnows, all kinds of crazy fun stuff to come. Uh, these have to get done. So just get through them. And if you want to see some of those awesome videos, coming in the future that I already have planned. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. And uh, yeah, like I was saying in this video here, hope you enjoyed it. Subscribe and I'll see y'all on the next one.